create a new save. Have you played this game before? I have. A famous explorer once said, Welcome to Character Select, my name is David. The extraordinary is in what and I'm Laura Croft, Tomb Raider. I finally well, out your third. third. But we're playing Tomb Raider. A game that came out. When the hell did this game come out? 2013. Jesus. Good lord, really? This game came out nine years ago? Yeah. Fucking hell. It kind of just jumps you the fuck in, Jesus. Oh yeah. This is what's known as a action protocol, or prologue. In our darkest moments. When life flashes before us. We find something. Death? Something that keeps us going. Do we find death? Probably, yeah. A little bit of brain damage? Brain damage. pushes us. Do you know what that something is, third? Uh No. It's called the survival instinct. Fight or flight? Not quite. Fight or flight is uh, is an aggressive instinct. Survival instinct is literally I ha I can't I'm not going to die here. As opposed to fight or flight, which is I need to do something in order to not die here. Anyway, this game is starting up off like real heavy, folks. So don't worry, we'll get more into it once we get a chance. Yeah, yeah. But I, I feel like if this were made a bit later, you would have had to play through that initial part, and it'd be yeah. like a little set piece. Yeah. Walking girl. Dunk. Oh. All right. So the reason that we're playing this game is because it has come up quite a few times, and uh, mostly this, by me. Yeah. During this, Uncharted. Well, this game is absolutely torture porn. <laughs> as horrible as that is to say, it's kind of true. Um, but this is actually a really good game. Um, have you finished it? This one. Okay. Um, I have beaten this one. I have not beaten the sequels. Okay. We might not play the sequel. I don't like the, the sequels quite as much, but whatever. I I watch a channel on YouTube, uh, other than Character Slack. Of uh, course. Called um, uh, Outside Extra. Yeah. Uh, there's a, a host on it that fucking loves Tomb Raider. Mm-hmm. Uh, she loved the reboot. She loved, you know, Another reboot. Rise of the Tomb Raider. And then Shadow of the Tomb Raider came out. And she was like, I'm so disappointed. This fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Get moving. Dump. But the other thing that's really kind of surprising about this game is that it's a... It, well, it's technically an Eidos game, but... Like, Square Enix made this. Essentially. Yeah. Oh, God. Where are you We're swinging? the world on fire. This is gonna hurt. You are not swinging in the right direction here. There you go. Here we are. I mean, we have two directions to go. We're kind of limited in, uh... Oh, God. Whoa. Like I said, this game is... Torture porn. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot the beginning of this one. Um, Push a button. Wait, what button? Uh, that mouse? button? Yeah. E button. For anybody that's curious, third is the one playing. If we didn't make that clear, sorry. Yes. Okay. One thing this game is really quite good about doing 
is stressing the panic of the situations that Lara finds herself in. A little bit, a little bit. Oh god. No, no. Yeah, that guy's probably fine. Yeah, it's, it's fine. It, it buff out. What happened to you? Everything good. Yeah, remember how we saw Lara in the intro and she was like nice and clean and looked good? <laughs> Never again. <laughs> Never again. Yeah, not in this game. Oh, that was loud. Oh. I do appreciate, first of all, the fire effects in this game are amazing. Second of all, I love the fact that things just burn. Yeah, just immediately burn and disintegrate. Oh, must... I want your torch. Damn it. Oh. Your torch done burned out. There you go. Am I throwing it? Oh, you're, you gotta light something on fire. Like you this. Have, you have the ability to move around and light things on fire. Clearly the solution is to light things on fire. The power I have in real life. <laughs> the power we all have in real life. Uh, you should probably leave. Yeah. Oh god. You should definitely leave. Get him off, get him off, get him off, get him off! Yeah, fuck you, buddy. Oh, get crushed. Oh, he's just trying to help us. Oh, well, he should keep... Could have picked a better way of doing it. I would also like to point out that she, at the very least, has a puncture wound, too, in yep. fact, and that water is not clean. I mean, is it two or is it just one puncture wound? It's two. Puncture wound is a break in the skin. She has one in the front yeah, and one in the back. But, but it went all the way through, so it's just one. No, she has two puncture <laughs> wounds as a result of one thing. I want our torch again. Need to find a way out. We have to go there. Which means we have to, we're gonna have to slide down that at some point. Probably. Yeah, so let's relight this soaking wet torch again. Yeah. There's so, the puncture wound. Torches are limited use items. <laughs> a little bit. Like, you can reuse a torch, but you generally don't reuse a torch. No. Okay, that creates a little dam. Damn it. Oh, yeah, for anybody, board. for anybody that's never seen this game before, this game is very, very good. Second game, not as good. Third game, from what I understand, very bad. There's nothing in there, third. We have to load it up? Yep. Gonna do something with that thing, maybe? What are we loading it up with? Oh. Uh. What am I interacting? That thing gets stuff. I think you got it. Oh. Okay, that was weird. A little <laughs> bit of a floaty. A little floaty. Oh. There you go. See? Load it up. Load it up. Load. Load it up. Also, wait. Stop. Hold on. Yeah. Go back. See that light source? That you just ran past again? Huh? The fire source. Oh, uh, yeah. This? One of the things I love about good games is design. That is a helmet. 
Yeah. Love Is that it. a World War II era helmet? Yep. Well. A bucket? Korean. Hmm. I mean, probably even Vietnam War. A plane. A little bit of a plane. A little bit of a plane as a treat. This game is rich in delightful details. I think we need another, uh... Another set of items. Uh, I don't think there are any more items to get. Oh yeah, we do. I'd imagine you probably only need the one, but, you know, multiple items ain't a bad thing. Oh, yeah, we do. You gotta light them on fire and then send them yeah. down. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, doy. With how quickly everything burns in this game, though. <laughs> but does it just get put out immediately? This is fine. Time to go. Everything's breaking. I'm going. I'm going. Not that way. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh god. Oh jeez. Don't. No. No. How did you not get hit by any of those things? Uh, because they weren't in the middle. I feel like I would have dropped the torch a long time ago. It's her comfort torch. It's all she's got left. Oh, oh God. Oh, Jesus. Get off. Get him off you. Get him off you. Oh. 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 If he was trying to help us. I feel like that's not how... You got anything? Uh, a wall would collapse in. Have you been in a cave-in before, third? I have not, thankfully. <laughs> well, you then know, who are you to judge? Nobody, I guess. Uh. I hope I'm dodging the right way. <laughs> And for anybody that hasn't played the game before, every single one of those moments that required a button push was a different way to die. In a mostly graphic way. Yeah, we haven't even died once yet. We will! Don't worry. They're all horrible. It's a big complaint I, I would have about this game as it is, like you said before, torture porn. There's a weird fascination with... with uh, killing killing Lara. women in horrible like, ways. brutal ways. Yeah. yeah. And that was the intro! Great! Hell of a way to introduce a game, though. Hell of a way to introduce a game. And yeah. the, other, the other important thing to remember is that this was coming at a time when Tomb Raider had suffered over the last, the previous ten years, two incredibly high-profile failures. Two incredibly high-profile shitty movies. Also true. Where are they? Um. That was the way we're supposed to go. What? If we, oh God. Answer yeah, dodge. That dodge. You, you don't have a sprint option. Stop it. <laughs> that dodge. Stop it. You can't. No, there's nothing. Way. There's nothing to grab yet. I'm checking. It's one of those things where you you go in a direction you realize it's the the right way? Yeah. Oh, fuck. At the moment, you back. only have progress. Um, but the uh, the original Tomb Raider, the original polygonal Tomb Raider, had an incredibly high-profile failure in Angel of Darkness, okay. which Take it slow. was not great. And then... They, and then... Um, Oh. 
Eidos started working with uh, the team behind Eternal Darkness and uh, Two Human to make a follow-up series, which they did make, and there were three of them. And the first one was great, and the second one was bad, and the third one was awful. Uh -huh. um, Isn't that the way a lot of things go? It's true. So this game completely changed the formula, and people weren't sure if they liked it. I, I think they li really liked it at the time. Well, was people this, weren't um, this was after Uncharted 1, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <gasps> Uncharted 1 was like 2008. Yeah, so they, they were kind of going for that Uncharted vibe here. As much as they could. Which is funny because Uncharted was ape, aped off of uh, the original Tomb Raiders. Uh, so, yes and no. I mean, it was absolutely inspired by the original Tomb Raiders. Yes, that I will agree with. But you can say that's, well, yeah, you can say that something is, it's like saying that Darksiders absolutely, um, oh god. Uh, Darksiders was absolutely uh, based on Zelda. Yeah, but it's still its own thing, you know? Darksider. Darksiders. You play as War, uh, Horseman of the Apocalypse after the end of the world. I wouldn't have called that a Zelda game, though. It's absolutely a Zelda game. You go to places, you get things that let you explore play things that you've done in places before. Absolutely is all the game. That's that's a Metroidvania. Yeah, well, yeah, but it's still a... We don't call them Zelda games, we call them Metroidvanias. Also, I'm taking a bite of food here. Hum, 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 hum. I'm a, I, might, I might stop every once in a while. I just have a bite of food. Are you going to tell people what you're eating? Um, buffalo mac and cheese. Yeah, not bad. Buffalo chicken mac and cheese. <laughs> oh. It's starting to cool down, so I, I wanna... I wanna get through it. Also, she's getting clean now. Hey, it's the rain. Certainly less dirty than she was, like, five minutes ago. Hey, matches. I don't need no stinking matches. Roth? Can anyone hear me? I've got to find them. Take the fucking pack! Yeah, come on. Grab some of that water, put on a life jacket. You don't know what you might need. Ah, it's raining, you just open your mouth. Alright. <laughs> you need water. <laughs> Not gonna get as much water as you want. Huh? What? I Right. Oh, that, that was, was a that was a you had to fail. to happen. Yeah. They they should pull that before they teach you to like oh, press E to quick grab when you lose grip. Well, the I think the intent there was to either show you the consequences of failure or tell you that it's not always going to work. Oh. Blair Witch time. Creepy. And then, of course, the one thing that people really for that people tend to forget these days is when you are wet and it is dark, it is cold. Uh, the water. We just brought up the water thing, Laura. Yeah, well, the streams coming. Water. There's streams coming off the rocks. Is anyone listening? Please respond. Light it up, girl. Good thing she found those matches. Good thing she found that match. Singular. Okay, it's not gonna be a mini game. No. <laughs> You wish it went up that quickly. Good lord. 
Actually, properly lighting a fire takes about three to four minutes. <laughs> well, we, we've shown that everything catches fire here way too quickly. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Brief snippets of clear signal fades into more static. Ooh, a camera. Camcorder. You'll get Bru caught up in the camcorder. I was gonna do camcorder. Hey, robots in food. disguise. <laughs> Lara Croft, in her native habitat. She's on the hunt for the lost kingdom of Yamatai, home to the fabulous Himiko, mythical sun queen, and ancestor of yours truly. Can we get some steady cam on this place? I'm serious. Oh, sweetie, I know. I'm I mean, it's a hand cam. Here. Everyone's so on edge. Hand cams have steady cams. What are you so worried about? I'm close to something. I'm sure. That's 2013. I just don't know if the others will listen. Yeah, you're right. She's recording in 1080i. <laughs> you know this stuff better than anyone. Seriously. I'm not just saying this to make you feel better. I trust you. Roth trusts you. You got this. Now let's take a break, okay? Okay. Okay. And Sam, thanks. She's not always this serious, you know? She cute. Oh, how can you suggest I'm not serious about this expedition, Laura? It's not just Sam's family funding us. I put my savings on the line, too. You've all got some kind of stake in this. The funding won't last forever, Whitman. That's precisely why we should push east, not west. No one believes Yamatai... No one believes Yamata is that far east. The books simply don't support it. Well, whoever wrote those books never found Yamatai. Oh, snap. Oh, get dunked on. There's point in following in other people's footsteps, Dr. Whitman. I refuse to bet my reputation on your hunch. I'm the lead archaeologist here. And when were you last in the field with a TV crew behind you? Got 30 years experience, two PhDs, one in East Asian history. So why don't you just stick to boats, Mr. Grimm? Ship, Dr. Whitman. That's a ship. Damn straight it is. <laughs> Going east will take us directly into the Dragon's Triangle. That's where we need to go. Lara, my little bird. I'd follow you almost anywhere, but that place has a bad energy. Bad storms, more like, makes the Bermuda Triangle look like Disney World. <laughs> Sign me up. The, the Bermuda Triangle is completely without storms most of the time. <laughs> on some version of the truth. What if Yamatai was somewhere Maybe not in this universe. Look, this yeah, who knows? Is satellite imagery from inside the Dragon's Triangle. That doesn't look good. If it's wet, I can sail on it. Oh, tell me you're seriously <laughs> you know, cons- Reyes is right. We don't have the funds to piss about. It's now or never. Lara's offering fresh ideas and a plan. I'm the captain here. It's my decision. We're going into the Dragon's Triangle. Why am I even here? It's because you have the money. It kind of feels like Lara's the bad guy here. I mean, a little bit. I, well, I don't think so. I think that he actually is bringing up good points. You know, he has his reputation to worry about. He doesn't want to stake it on some someone new to the, the profession and her Man. hunch. Because she's not necessarily offering, you know, concrete evidence. I've got to find something to eat. Something to nom nom. And, uh, yeah, you just go into an area known for storms like willy nilly. Yeah. And this is what happened. Ooh. Are we going to uh, kill ourselves a deer? Probably. That was a weird bird texture. I hate bird texture. <sighs> but I think that Roth has a very good point. What's going on here? Wait. I can use that bow. <laughs> bow. People just making noises. Man versus wild. <laughs> Anybody even remember Man vs. Wild? That show was pretty good, though. Pick it up. We have arrows. We've got rows. But do we have columns? She has recovered remarkably well from being stabbed in the liver kidney. Yeah. Like, as soon as that uh, adrenaline wears off, I can do this. you're going to be... Uh, you're 
Gonna be a little fucked up. Oh, you got it. Got it. Oh, ow. Well, it's another set of bruises. Mm-hmm. That is a bundle of sticks with some rope attached to it. A makeshift bow. Also, it's not a long bow. <laughs> no. It is definitely a short bow. Thank you, tutorial. So hungry. I need to find something to eat. It's a shame you didn't grab that cooler full of supplies with the water and shit. Get that bird. Oh. No, you can't. Oh dear. Please do me a favor. Yeah. Stop whippy zipping oh. your your Ow. mouse around. Oh, Jesus! You only need one! I mean... For now. For now. I guess. I'm so hungry I could eat two deer. Sorry. Poor thing. Uh-huh. Not too long ago, a deer got hit by a car right out in front of my house. Oh, damn. Did it die? Uh, not immediately. Ugh. It was still, like... Oh, she put it out of its misery before you cut it open. Oh, she did. It was dead. Uh, no, it was, uh, on the side of the road, still, unfortunately, getting clipped by cars. Ugh. Trying to get up until a cop came by. Right. And, uh, we heard a gunshot. Ouch. All right, Lara. You won't always have some fancy gadget to tell you where you are. If you can learn to read the land and the stars, you'll always be able to find your way home. Sorry, lighter flood. <laughs> we have burb meat. I would like to point out that arrows make absolutely terrible knives. Especially broad-headed arrow points, Jesus. Well, they're broad, so they have a good cutting No, area. they don't. That's not the way. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> Where did the bedroll come from? Well, you know... Don't ask questions. Alright, you need to buy some skills and survive it. What am I? What am I buying? Nice rewards food? including animal corpses and food caches. Thoroughly search crates and caches to find extra salvage. Carefully looting animal corpses will reward you with extra salvage. This is all just extra salvage. Resourceful archers can recover arrows from the bodies of enemies. Can't do that one yet. So that one's got a chain, which means that it's linked to the next one. Yeah. Arrow retrieval. Um, what do you think? I would honestly go with arrow retrieval. Yeah. Specifically because the the skill that's linked to it is very good. Uh -huh. especially, especially when ammo becomes a problem later. Oh, we're thirty four percent done. Yay! Ah, oh, zero percent done. <laughs> All right. Um. Let's I don't know what uh, the rest of that is. Yeah, well, next time on Character Select, we will find out how... Oh, never oh. mind, you continued. Nah. Uh. Alright, we're good. Alright, thank good. you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you liked it. And third! Me, what's stop, up? Stop pushing buttons. That's what I do. I'm a button pusher. <laughs> You're pushing my buttons, that's for sure. Uh-huh.